Right, we're in Papua in the caravan. This is WX-53. It's unbelievably uh, beautiful airport modeled in this. Um, these planes fly in here all the time, uh, which makes me a little bit nervous to not be able to land here because we should be able to. Flaps are 50. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna roll out. I'm actually not gonna do a static takeoff because this thing is like dropping off of a cliff and I don't wanna go too fast off of this. And then down the hump, now we're gonna punch it. Get that PT6 wound up here. There is 60 and we're just gonna clear those trees. Holy crap. Terrain, terrain. It's, dude, it's so sketch. Sweet. All right, so the first, the first challenge is going to be to try to land this damn thing. Um, I have not had success landing this yet, um, dude. Over torque does not exist in this thing. <laughs> we we treat this engine like it doesn't exist for the sim right now. The Bonanza will fly along with. Uh, 10% mixture in, so over torque is not a concern. We'll keep an eye on it, but there is full flaps, and I'm gonna try to get a feel for where this thing likes to likes to be at its slowest. So there's 65, and we're in a we're in a nice turn and stable at 65. So this thing can go pretty slow. There is our runway. We have the hill to help. So that's that's good. We don't need to like really slam it on. Because once once we're once we got the reversers out and have it slowed down by that hill, we should be able to to use it to our ad, uh, advantage. <laughs> yeah, the Rotax and the Bonanza, it's so bad. <laughs> I'm idle here. I'm power idle, and I think we're coming in way too fast. So let's trim trim out some of that speed. Probably going to have an incursion here. There's 75. I mean, that, that seems like it's a safe speed. We could probably be a little bit... A little bit slower but there's 70 and that's pretty long right there touchdown right up the hill <laughs> oh no crap 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 don't tail strike come on get up get up we know you got 800 horsepower get up there buddy oh crap I'm stuck I beached it. Come on, get up. Go! Go! Oh, somebody, somebody hit the jump and dead. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna work. That is not, oh, nice space. We're gonna have to, oh crap, we're gonna have to roll back. This is not good. Okay, we have another, oh, pretty much dead caravan. I think we'd have to get, I mean, we'd have to get out and push this. <laughs> this is super sketch. All right. Uh, it's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. So you have to get you have to get it up that hill. Otherwise you're not going to get Yeah, you're not going to make it. You have to make it up that hill. So let's back taxi and see if we can get it get it up there. I mean these things are not so cumbersome that you couldn't get a like a 
crazy tow bar and get it um, get it moved around, but that would be a really ridiculous situation. Oh, there we go. Back it up. Here we go. And that should do it. Okay, now we need to do a little run up here. So we're going to get the, the village people to step away from the plateau. run up here just to get up this little hump. Otherwise, we're, we're going to be screwed. Oh! Dead. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's just spawning all in the same spot. So don't hit those rocks. Okay, so we have half flaps in. Let's let these guys go first. Pulling up at 35 knots is a bad idea. Usually it's a bad idea for most planes. <laughs> Yeah, that is an absolutely insane hill. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little bit more. I'm going to let it spool up. Oh, and dead. Full power. Oh, get it over that tree. Okay, so trying not to hit the other caravan, we ran into a tree. Now, we went to the east before. What happens if we go northwest? Is there anything that is cool? Those don't look super mountainous. Oh, there's some stuff around here. Let's go down, let's go down to that lake. So we're going to climb up and we're going to go south-southwest. airport like how fun is that place man super challenging in in this plane i mean in the in the cub either of the cubs or any of the like the little planes it's it's not too bad especially with that little hill but in something like this it is super sketch Look at it, look at it over there. Menacing little airport. It'd be super terrifying. It's it's one of the like marquee uh, airports in that show, Worst Place to Be a Pilot, and the the shot of them coming in in this caravan is just ridiculous. It looks it's like a freaking joke, man. It is a total joke. Um, doesn't Suzy Air fly these things fully loaded too? Probably. I mean, that, that would make sense. I mean, it, I think for something like that, you would have to have a specific weight and balance ready to go um, that you'd have to stick to. And the actual, like, uh, center of gravity being as important as the total weight. Because if you, if you go in there with a uh, weight and balance that's a little, even a little bit goofy... Um, that could be a lot of problems. 
like you just have to have the a very very specific um, loadout in order to get in there. Yeah, you just have to, you just have to be perfect, and the pilot's got to be the one that you know is, is setting it and make sure that you uh, don't screw around with that, and be very very picky with when you go to, because that's. Part of the reason that makes this place so dangerous is the weather. It's not just that these these airports are super remote and crazy. It's that it's tropical and the weather changes like crazy. Yeah, just whatever it is. I mean, whatever is the optimal weight and balance to get in there safely. You just you have to do that. Uh, and man, what's happening? <laughs> the best flight sim streamer is back where? Where? Uh, just watch a YouTube video of it, boy. Oh, yeah. Does that front gear get a workout? Absolutely. I'm fly. I'm pilot. <laughs> well done, pilot. We got a little bit of icing. Yeah, JP is streaming. Dude, if I'm even a close second, I'll take that. Alright, well luckily with this thing, unlike the Cub, we do have some measures for getting rid of ice. That build-up doesn't look as bad as it did in the Cub. I mean, we barely flew through a cloud. Um, like, barely. And I don't even know what the outside air temperature is showing. Oh, it's freezing. It's still showing freezing, I guess. Uh, okay, where is our heat situation? Uh, Anti-ice, so let's do... I don't think we have, like, windshield defrost, do we? Can we get the defrost going? Uh, defrost. In op. Great. So, so that's awesome. Uh, I've been playing like 10 hours since the last time I watched you. I've watched a few other people and you got this Sigma Man. Uh, well, I, I appreciate that a lot. That's very that's very kind of you uh, as, as I'm getting severe icing. Um... Can you shoot me another invite to your Discord? Yeah, Blow's got it. There you go. Thanks, Blow. Um, can you add some things to do with channel points? I have no idea how to do that or what could be done. I'll look into it, though, and see if there's anything that's, that's worth doing. So, yeah, the defrost would be really, really cool right now. Uh, we've got some... <laughs> why is it so why are we getting so much icing it's getting worse not better there's no Ooh. Whoa. yeah that's okay so that's not good uh huh okay so there's our lake that's Good. Uh, let's fluid control. I guess we'll do that. Uh, max load of windshield. Backup mode. I don't know what the hell backup mode is, but it's on. some heavy breathers on. Uh, okay, well that worked. Cool. That worked. We're good. I just died trying to catch up. That's really funny. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, our next uh, our next delivery is where's our next delivery? Oh, we're over our whack'em. Wacom is our next delivery, and we're just over it. 
Yeah, seriously, you guys gotta you gotta watch that show, um, Worst Place to Be a Pilot, because like I recognize some of these places that they're uh, that we're going to from that. Um, okay, let's see. I have so many questions. Ant Man, ask away, dude. Absolutely, ask away. Please. This is something that I actually heard um, today at work regarding financial stuff. And it was regarding, uh, okay, so I guess we just need to have these on, um, terms. And it was regarding term terminology and um, we're just going to turn all this on. I don't think I don't think the load is going to make much difference. Um, when you don't know a term and you hear people talking about it all the time, it's really hard sometimes to um, ask because you hear people using terms so often, and you might feel like, "Oh man, I should." Everyone's using these terms. I, sh it's it should be something that I need to know. Um, that is not not necessarily the case. So if any, if at any point you have a question regarding something, just ask, ask the question. Um, you know, we all started somewhere and the only way to really um, gain knowledge at this point, and I do believe that watching these streams is uh, helpful if you're learning how to fly either in the real world or in the sim, because it gives you opportunities to to ask questions organically in within context. And sometimes it's easier to remember certain things when they're in the context of somebody actually flying around. Again, whether it's you know like watching a video, a real world video, or this this uh, flight sim stuff. The 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 benefit of the flight sim is that you have the live interaction where you can you know you can say you know versus like youtube comments or something where you ask a question i mean it's like hey back there when you clicked that button what were you doing um or what what would happen if you you know i heard this term being used you know how does that apply to this flight and getting the the like live response is helpful it was helpful for me so because there's a it's a lot to take in man i mean I, I i don't think you'll ever get to the point where you're like okay i'm good i know it all like i've got it i've got all the information it just you'll never you'll never get to that point so uh the only way to just start chipping away at it is uh not being afraid to ask some questions This is freaking beautiful. All right, so I'm thinking that this might not be one of the prettier airfields, but this is an important one because these people um, need their supplies. Uh, Minnie, thank you very much for following. Space is right on our tail. He's got the um, the extra bushel of hair gel. So we're delivering. Yeah, this approach is super cool. Okay, so the villagers know we're coming, so they are off the runway. When's it gonna stop flying? Shit. 70, 65 and we're dead. And we're dead. <laughs> and dead. Okay, so this is <laughs> Yeah, it definitely wasn't landing at seven. Oh, look at space. He went flying off. Um, there's a speed 
at which the airplane will stop flying. And that's where you want the plane to be when you're coming in to land, to put it very simply. Um, without knowing what that speed is and just guessing, uh, that's when you run off into the jungle. So... Yeah, it was... 60 is the number. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, let's unload. Let's unload all of our stuff. Yeah, so it's just, it's like an approach. So you have an approach speed. Like, um, this is just for, for even number sake. There's a speed that you want to maintain when you're on an approach. And it's a, it's a safe speed where it's slow, but it's still controllable. And then there's the speed that the plane will stop flying at. And that's basically, that's essentially the point at which you land. Um, you know, you're not, you're not flying the plane into the ground. You're letting the plane stop flying, basically. Um, so without knowing what that speed is, you can come in way too fast. And in a, in a place like this, where there is no runoff, there's nowhere to go around, you just have to, like, you just get it wrong and, you, and you're done. Which is why flying here is so dangerous, because you're, you're just... Uh, you know, you have to know what those speeds are. So for us to hop in a plane that we're unfamiliar with, we don't know what the what the speeds are. Um, flying into one way in, one way out, uh, short air fields is just like you're going to crash. Nice, Zerg. All right, and now we're going to. Whoop! No, we're gonna hold off. We got someone coming in. Is that another caravan? Yep. Whoa. You can see the sensitivity on the elevator right there. Still flying. Still flying down. So all the way down the runway. So we're we're just coming in way too hot with these. Uh, I play on medium assistance. I don't know. Um, is that like? Is there a? a special setting on medium that shows you like when you're gonna land because I would if I were you I would just put it on everything off and just learn learn without assistance okay so that was that was good on departing See, this is a little bit, um, this is more challenging than, you know, than the cub, which is, which is nice because you actually have to think, you have to plan the, the approach. And that was, that was the big part that I took away from, uh, worst place to be a pilot that series and listening to those pilots talk is it's not, it's not as much about the landing. It's more and this is going to sound maybe obvious, I don't know, um, for some of you, but it's about the approach. Because it's so tricky and you might not have really any option. Um, so picking the right approach and being able to fly it effectively is like the only way to get into some of these, these airports. Like this approach was actually pretty easy because it's just a long, nice long straight in. But some of these where you're going like blind around a corner, then you're you're super screwed. No, I haven't tried track IR. No, I've done some VR stuff, but not not track IR. Um, I don't get is why my RPMs are red even though I drop the throttle. That's a great question. So the throttle is not necessarily tied to the RPMs. The the blue knob is the prop and that controls RPM. So you can pull the RPM, the, the prop back, the manifold pressure is, and, and that's not even, it's a, it's a turbine. So you got to pull the prop back in order to get the, uh, the torque to come down. I'm not, I have not been trained in uh, 
PT6s. So I I don't really know, but that that is the um, essentially the, the difference there. Okay, Wabi. We're going to Wabi next. <laughs> well, and that's that's why I said it, but I'm just you know I'm just alluding to the fact that for for people that um, that are pilots, you know how important the approach to landing is. Like the a good landing starts with a good approach, and if you if you don't have a good approach, you're probably not going to have a good landing. Unless you're in a cub, then you can have pretty much any approach, and you'll be fine. I'm going to turn off our anti-ice stuff because it appears that we're good to go for the moment. Can I zoom this in? Is that going to help? Yep, it is. Okay. All right, our next stop is Wabi. Sounds like Elmer Fudd. I smell a Wabi. This lake, I bet this lake is absolutely gorgeous in real life. So we're going to check it out. We're going to overfly this field here and see what what it looks like. We might have another uh, pretty easy approach, it looks like. Am I the streamer who likes baseball? <laughs> yeah, man. One of my audio cues is Vin Scully, and I don't even like the Dodgers. Okay, so that's that's our spot. That is not tricky at all. What is that? Okay, Wabi is going to be a, a good test here. <laughs> no, it's all good. Dude, I'm having scotch right now. Uh, did you see John Birdie stealing all the bases against the Met? No, I did not. No. No, I've been kind of disillusioned by pro sports this year. Um, there's a, And there are a, there's a bunch of reasons for that. And most of them are personal reasons. Um, but, yeah, I've been a little bit, a little bit down on all sports, including, including baseball. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll check it out if you if you post that for sure. Yeah, this is freaking gorgeous. Are you absolutely kidding me right now? Are you kidding me with these views? Dude, look at that. Oh God! <laughs> Have fun with the oil starvation. The entire Mets infield was sleeping. That's crazy. Ant Man, my pleasure, dude. I I um I love it. I love. I am not a, an instructor. I don't plan on ever being an instructor, but I do enjoy. Um, uh, you know, at least encouraging and sharing the knowledge that I do have with with people that are interested. Um, it's very, it's a very addicting um, hobby and industry. So, uh, I I'm happy to help any way I can. It's going just like way too fast. Let's get the nose up and see if we can get slow down enough. Slow down, yeah. Too much nose up attitude. I'm gonna be. Um, I'm probably gonna go around here. But I, th I think there's a way to fly this thing um, a little bit more short field ish. The problem is that it's, you know, a freaking tur. Oh, you know what? Oh, the prop is full forward. <laughs> well, and and man, I appreciate that, dude. I, I mean, just anybody that um, uh, 
that shows that shows a passion for it. Um, you know, it makes it it makes it easier to explain stuff because I'm uh, sometimes I'm not good at explaining things. You know, it's like you know you know what you know, and unless you're actually trained how to teach it, it's really hard to. Uh, explain some of these concepts because it can it can be pretty tricky. <laughs> it totally didn't go into the forest. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Below. You're a great dude too, man. It was super super fun to meet um, to meet you and everybody that was there. Hopefully Flight Sim Expo happens next year, but I just a fun it's for whatever reason and I mean I have a few theories, but it's it's just a fun thing to share. Aviation is just a fun thing to share. So <laughs> Yeah, dude, and man, like ask ask more questions, dude. Just like keep keep asking. I watched so many streams when I was first starting out and just like asked every question I could. So this right away just feels way different, way better. little bit on the floaty side still 50 okay so 55 it still has elevator authority there's 50 <laughs> touchdown 48 okay so that's stop it before the road got him Yeah, I, I have been, that is one thing that I wanted to do with all this is just be as transparent as possible. Like just, yeah, my first flight on Pilot Edge is up there. My, f you know, I've got my full uh, uh, flight lessons up on YouTube, you know, just like whatever. We all were there at one point, whether we want to admit it or not sometimes. So 50, it doesn't, it, it stops flying. So at your skill level, do you feel like it's cheating to view planes from the outside? Um, I don't feel like it's cheating. I feel like it's not fun at all because this is where I want to be sitting. This is where I want to look out. So from the outside, it's to me way harder. I want to be inside and, and see the instruments because the instruments are what you're, um, you know, should be focused on, um, not not looking around uh, anywhere else. You know, and it might be easier from the perspective of like uh, precision, you know, being able to see where your plane is at. But um, inside, if you force yourself to be inside, it'll be it'll be much better for you. See so what what is. Um, Kind of important to remember, Ant-Man as well for some of this stuff, is that if you stick yourself into the real scenario, whether it's like being inside the plane or um, putting it on hard mode, is you give yourself the ability or the chance to, to grow into the skills versus changing them. Because flying on outside in like medium difficulty or whatever um, is giving you the wrong impression of what needs to be done. So if you have it on hard, like and it's it's not it's not that hard. I mean, I'm these planes are very very forgiving, so it's not really that big of a deal. But you'll be able to grow into the plane and the skill set 
versus, you know, trying, you know, getting good at landing on easy mode from the outside and then going, okay, I'm going to start from the inside. You're basically starting from scratch versus just getting better at it, how you're going to do it. Uh, I fly, mostly I fly inside on medium. I started my bush flights and I'm happy to land reading the maps. Um, have Sky Vector out. That that is that is huge. Have Sky Vector on a separate screen somewhere. If you have an iPad or another screen, that's the best way to learn is to just fly and look at those maps. Yeah, SkyVector.com. Yeah, I think the Diamond D8 TD TDI is easier than the 172. Probably. I mean, I think the the um, 172 is probably. Um, Probably the best all-around plane, I think. Like, functionally, systems-wise and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, below, I use Sky Vector as well, all the time. And then, um, at least for the preliminary stuff, and then move it over to, to Four Flight. But yeah, Sky Vector is great. Uh, oh, there's... Okay, there we go. That's a hard surface. Look at this freaking terrain. I'm coming in off the lake. I don't care. I don't care what the winds are doing. I'm coming in off the lake. Um, not for real. Does it say it on there? Not for real world flight planning? Because you can um, you can file from Sky Vector. So four flight does not work for the sim, not yet, Pilot Mike. But it is, it it will for sure. Yeah, it definitely will. I love pilot it, or I love uh, four flight so much. No, yeah, you can like I have I haven't actually filed yet from it, but yeah, you can totally file a flight plan um, from Sky Vector. I've gotten right to the point where you click like file um, oh cool Camaro switching making the big switch I like it okay so that's that's in up this is going to be a cool approach uh, yeah I would really if anyone has a spare screen or something and, and wants to look up like approach speeds for caravans like I st I'm still flying at 50 knots on this thing and it's freaking crazy I have so little time on Garmin Pilot but it does seem like it's um, perfectly fine I really like the the water textures in this they're miles above the stock uh, X-Plane. Uh, so when do you go third person view? What things are on your screen? Uh, nothing. I have it all turned off. Because I only use the third person just for like seeing how cool it looks. Yeah, I don't, I don't use it for flying at all. Uh, did I miss where the where the runway is? Am I on the wrong? I might I might have the wrong side of this? Oh wait, no, 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 no! I'm right. He just is blind. Wow. Okay. Whoops. 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 Well, you can turn. You should be able to turn that off. Um, the ex exterior stuff on the in third person see I'm, I'm already too fast there's 80 but we have we have a lot more runway here so as long as I can get it on on the ground we can get we can get these fine people their toothpaste
sweet. <laughs> yeah, they are really. They are. They. That's well, well said. They are a mess for bleeding speed off. They're fun though. Um, I, I can't say that they're not fun. Uh, Scadich, thank you very much for following. I think it's pretty. I think they're pretty close. Uh, Spike Term, thank you for following. All right, the. Um, Yeah, weigh in. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna kind of keep looping. So weigh in is our next spot. We're gonna get everyone. Uh, everyone's toothpaste has been unloaded. We're all good to go. Yep. Okay. We're good. Uh, are you trying to become a professional pilot? Uh, yes. I actually uh, part time professional pilot but yes um i am working towards my commercial multi um which is frankly one of the reasons why i stream because the streams and the subscriptions that you guys are so uh generous with um the youtube views the patreon support pays for or helps pay for the flying that i need in order to get there so i try to like recycle you know the content with the flying and the streams and all that stuff in order to get to that that goal i got a seat waiting for me uh ginger bites thank you very much for following man uh spike term sweet man i am that's where i'm at as well instrument time Instrument, commercial, commercial multi, citation, uh, uh, type rating. Uh, we're back in Papua, James. Like, I, um, <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> uh, PPL written exam is on Monday. Mike, have a great time. Enjoy it. You will be disappointed at how easy it is. It's, it, I was disappointed. Uh, so does anyone know the difference between medium oh, assist up. and none? Oh, um, oh, you're still using a keypad? All right, so keep it how you've got it. Uh, Calypso guy, that Calypso guy, thank you for following. Um, Ant-Man, keep, keep it where it's at until you get the joystick. As soon as the joystick, put it on full everything, everything off. Um, there, uh, ginger bites. This this is just us flying around. So there's no. This isn't like part of the challenges or anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's um like you're gonna be more than prepared for it. So it's not like it is a walk in the park but you're prepared and you'll be kind of disappointed at how easy it ends up being because you're prepared, if that makes any sense. So you'll be over prepared for it, which is good, but um, yeah, I, I walked away from that going like, that was it? Damn, okay, well, <laughs> moving on. Okay, what are we dropping off with these people? What's our cargo for for this little village here? Oh yeah, it's way it's way easier. Yeah, yeah. If you're using a keyboard and mouse, dude, I I I pity your soul. <laughs> you did the right thing and got a, a joystick coming. <laughs> Grilled cheese sandwiches, beautiful. I love it. Yeah, the, the PPL written is cake if you prepare, if you're prepared, right? It's, if you just take somebody off the street, it's going to be tough. But um, if, if you're, um, if you've been endorsed for it, it's super easy. Uh, C. Pulmian, did I get that right? Thank you very much for following. Welcome. 
yeah, just if you've got something coming on Monday, Ant Man, just leave it where it's at. You'll you'll be fine. You got a hundred on the instrument written, that's pretty 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 good. Pulliam. Got it. C pulliam. Thank you. You need a lot of pronunciation keys. Dude, these airports are awesome. Like this is this is way better than Alaska for bush flying because and this isn't I wouldn't really call this bush flying, but I mean, these, these airports, these approaches, not necessarily the actual runways themselves, but the approaches are freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I am, I'm like fully, fully into this. <laughs> and I, I don't know if you remember below, but I did like a, a Papua stream after I watched that Suzy Air show, Worst Place to Be a Pilot. There is a pack, like a Suzy Air airport pack for X-Plane. Um, oh yeah, I love Curb. Um, and I streamed it, and it was like freaking terrible. But um, like the the scenery itself wasn't really that good. Um, it was freeware. But this is just absolute mega. I feel like I like need more flaps or something like it just doesn't want to slow down well not wanting to slow down and wanting to stop flying at 50 knots are two separate problems but they just don't complement each other right through that bush all right everybody here's your grilled your grilled cheeses you're on a journey to PPL, awesome man. That is, that is awesome. You're you're in the right place. This is, um, watching streams on Twitch is one of the the best ways to um, supplement any official learning that you're doing um, because you just have. I mean, it's a it's a brain trust, which is awesome. Oh, it's not. There's no drag at all. Um, I think I'll try to like really be dramatic on the the nose up pitch, but yeah, it's like the flaps like there's not enough flap or something. Like there's only there's only two notches, so there's the first notch. Or is that all of it? Yeah, there's first notch. And there's fully up. Let's try taking off with full flaps and see see what happens. <laughs> like I don't think uh, I don't think a whole lot. Space, have a good one, man. Yeah, there's no bite with the prop too when you pull the power back. It just like doesn't um, doesn't do anything. It's like that Rep Pack 172 where you have, um, like, you're, you, you're relying on pitch too much. And to get into these places, you have to, like, add, you need drag. Uh, made me think of a dumb question. So do you always put your flaps out on landing? Um, you don't have to, Ant-Man. That's a tricky question because generally speaking, yes, but not all the time. What's the dumbest thing you've done during your PPL? Like, as a student or after having my private? <laughs> Scott, I had my cheese slices earlier, <laughs> James. As a student, what was the stupidest thing I did as a student? Um, damn, I don't know. I really... That's a good question. I, I really tried to be smart. It's not stupid, but using flight sims, I was able at John Wayne Airport, class one of the busiest class Charlie airports in the country. I soloed in five hours, 
and did my solo long cross solo cross country uh, with 12 hours uh, from John Wayne to Camarillo and, ba and back through the bra through the Bravo twice. I did two different Bravo transitions with 12 hours. So I wouldn't say that's stupid because I was comfortable doing it and I did it and it was no problem. But maybe that would be the closest. Um, that would be the closest, I would say. But it's not. But I didn't feel like it was stupid at all because I was ready to do it. As a student, I hit the wrong rudder when we were veering left and made us veer even more left towards the edge of the runway. <laughs> nice. All right, let's take off. And then, what's our next, our next location? Wayowa. All right. Take off with full flaps ones. Um, yeah, I'm really trying to think of anything that anything dumb that I did. Um, Maria, it is way past your bedtime. Hello. That's my goal as a solo on my 16th birthday. Nice. It's a good goal, space. Okay, so full flaps. Taking off full flaps with this thing is not not bad it does it does drop a lot looks pretty good <sighs> taken off with full flaps that's fine Yeah, I'm trying to think of what uh, any, like, mistakes that I've done. Because that's one thing, like, mistake versus, like, doing something dumb. Like, premeditated dumb. Versus, like, whoops. <laughs> so taking off, would you remove the flaps immediately? No. So if you, if you, um, if you lose the flaps immediately, you might sink. So if you take off with flaps, which in small planes, it's only recommended for short field or soft field to um, only take off with like 10 degrees of flaps uh, and then slowly retract when you've got enough speed. Yeah, dude, I'm, I keep it really, really um, inside the envelope below. Brad has probably almost killed me more times than I have him by far. Um, like by far I'm trying to think of anything that I did that was like dumb um, and I don't I don't want this to come off as like oh I've never done anything stupid and I've like I've just been perfect because that is definitely not the case but I'm just trying to think of like an instance that would be even worth it um I will tell you, I will tell you one thing that isn't really dumb, but scared the crap out of me. Um, it was last week when I went to Montgomery. Um, it was at coming back at night, and it was the first time I flew the Piper at night, and the panel lights didn't work. Um, oh, this is another straight in. Dude, look at how freaking real that. I'm going to overfly this and see how long it is. Um, so the panel lights didn't work. So as I'm taxiing, I'm trying to, like, get the panel lights to current turn on. And they're, like, intermittent. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I am going to have to fly back to John Wayne with no lights. Like, I can't see the instruments. <laughs> um, so I, like, they kind of would flicker on. And, I mean, there were a few times that it was off for a while um, and I was just like having to use my uh, you know red light flashlight um, I get back and one of the instructors at the flight school the guy that checked me out he's a he's a friend who uh, checked me out on the plane but he's also a CFI at at the flight school 
for the rental and I was like, so the uh, panel lights uh, weren't working in the Piper. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, we know. I was like, what? You know that the panel lights don't work at night? He's like, yeah, one of the guys that flies, because like nobody flies that plane. There's like three people that fly it and I'm one of them. Um, he's like, oh yeah, you know, whatever his name is, um, you know, flies it with the head torch on because you can't see any of the instruments. It's like, dude, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> so I flew all the way back with like um, friggin' no lighting. It was so ridiculous. Uh, Torb, Torb, thank you so much for the host. Welcome everybody from Torbinator Stream. Uh, I hope you uh, caught my story about flying at night in the rental Piper that I fly. Um, oh. Blow. Dude, it's way rough. The exterior is really, really rough. The interior, it's it actually is um, mechanically a pretty pretty solid plane. But, um, like, it flies smooth. The engine's strong. The brakes are good. Like, mechanically, the owner, the guy who, who actually works on the plane, uh, takes really good care of it. It just looks like absolute garbage. Um yeah, no, California Sun is definitely not kind. The paint just is total garbage. Um, but I didn't, I was not aware that the panel, panel lights didn't work. So <laughs> it's just like, okay, it is dark and here we go. But luckily flying uh, at night VFR in SoCal is cheating because you just have like a constant horizon and it ended up working out okay. I mean, obviously, but yeah, it was it was pretty sketch. Um, it's like pretty ox. It, it's just like the paint is shot. Uh, the vinyl is flaking off. It's totally oxidized. It's it's in rough rough shape. It looks it looks embarrassing. Everybody that I've taken flying so far, which is not really that many people, but I always say like, okay, this plane looks really bad from the outside but it is mechanically really good so just don't be don't be alarmed at how sketch the plane looks oh my god all right we're slipping a caravan so that's that's where we're at here oh yeah dude 65 knots and we're ballooning that much and come on come on down Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. This thing is a friggin' workhorse. Alright, what, what did we drop off for these people? Um, I rent... Uh, the plane that I rent, like, for flying around um, is Royal. And then uh, the plane that I, that I train in is uh, privately privately owned at uh, ACI East. Or, sorry, ACI West. Ice cream sandwiches, I like it. Grilled cheese and ice cream sandwiches. Toilet paper. Ice cream sandwiches and toilet paper. <laughs> that is great. Hey, thank you to uh, Pexmex for joining the Discord. Uh, Alex DG. Uh, we got Steve-O and Sammy and Andrick uh, and Sanska. Viche, um, Sergeant Dr. Pepper, thank you guys so much for joining the Discord. It's been such a fantastic resource for everybody, and I appreciate you guys continuing to give it a shot. Um, that's that's all that I ask when I give my little like Discord plugs is just give it a shot. If you're into aviation, um, you know there's there's something for everybody, no matter what your level is. We have people that have just come in like, hey, airplanes are cool. And we have full ATP airline pilots and everything in between. So, um, and it's been it's been fantastic to be a part of. And I, I thank everybody that is active and joined it, but there's the Discord link. So if you if you wanna give it a shot, um, I would I would love to, to have you. Um, yeah, and controllers. Controllers from, uh, I do not always forget about you guys. <laughs> No, we've got 
in route tower controllers, uh, student controllers. Blow, you know that I love controllers more than pilots. <laughs> um, it's really funny that uh, Bailey, thank you for the host. I, I'm going to pause this really quick because I have to play this this clip. Um, the I was just talking to him to the other day. Um, we're we're planning. We're gonna. Ready for joining me in the hey everybody, thank you. Blah blah. blah. Um, the uh, we're gonna go get beers pretty soon. But this is this is the ground controller at John Wayne right here, and I love this dude so much. This is this is hilarious. Affirmative down at Jay's, Cherokee 364. Cherokee 364, turn right at uh, Echo and kind of ground. Right at Echo, contact the ground, Cherokee 364. Oh. So nice. <laughs> it's oh. nice that it's not a hot breeze. Yeah. Like that ocean air. Ground, Cherokee 83364, clear 20 right, Jay's. Cherokee 3364, going ground, take the Jay's via Bravo. Jay's via Bravo, Cherokee 364, thanks. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh lord you guys so um so he's a he's a friend of ours and the the guy that i was flying in formation with so thank er, you everybody for joining me in the virtual for le fly-in the guy that i was flying in formation with right Where's a good where's a good shot? Here. So he texted me, he landed, he texted me, and Julia got the text. He's like, hey, our friend is um, controlling ground. So I knew that he was gonna be on, on ground frequency. One's coming left. So you guys are gonna do two nine or left option, correct? Up to there, we will not be landing. <laughs> Okay, where are you going to break off to? Uh, you can break off south. They should, north. Torbs. We'll be breaking south, up to zero. 267657, your number three following traffic, one mile final of only two nine right, clear touch and go. Additional traffic, three mile out of Cherokee there uh, for the parallel. Okay, so right base, 267657. Right. Number two, Sierra Lima, do you have your Cessna in sight still? I, I spent so much friggin time on that video <laughs> so if you if you want to see the entire video it's the the fly-in that um, I hosted a week and a half ago below minimums went he's in there check it out all right let's get out of here and we're going well actually we we need to know where we're going to waxp we're going to Waxp. So do south. Take off and head south. I know. Well, because it was so below, I, Julia will attest to this. I spent hours trying to fix the audio because it was so windy. Um, so like the wind plus the mac, the masks, it was impossible to to get any clear audio. So I tried to like, just get the parts that I could manually fix. And Derek um, was underneath the wing. So his came out the best because he was like sh shielded by the, w uh, by the wind. Um, yeah, it was, God, it was crazy. <laughs> Dude, I had to leave in Zuliet. That was, I, I heard that. I didn't hear it at first, and I went, oh my god, he said Zuliet. And that made me smile. I loved it. I think only me and you know noticed that though. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's really that noticeable because of the wind, and I was like I couldn't 
that was frustrating. That took it took hours for me to get to get it just as good as it was. If I if you heard like the raw audio, it doesn't sound it sounds so bad. It's no joke, man. When when the camera is on, it it changes it changes things. Um, whenever you, whenever you hit record and someone says action, it, it's either it's either you're you're on a roll or it's you know like I've never said that in my entire life, and it's it's very it's a very strange feeling you know when when you're when you're rolling. I had it perfect like I know I knew exactly what I was gonna say and then camera goes live and it's just boom. then you just forget language welcome everybody to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 my name is Bill I'm a private pilot out of John Wayne Airport in Orange County and today we're in Papua, and we're flying around this lovely looking and sounding caravan and terrible flying caravan. Uh, delivering goods, uh, not so many services, but lots of goods to the fine people of uh, Papua. They do not have access to uh, many uh, convenience stores or uh, there's not many targets out here in Papua so the caravan is filled with things such as grilled cheese sandwiches toilet paper ice cream sandwiches and other such things and now we're on our way to Waxp right yeah Waxp we're on our way to Waxp and this freaking sim looks absolutely amazing. There's a, a show that's on YouTube. It's called The Worst Place to Be a Pilot. Um, it's absolutely amazing. If you have a significant other that's not quite interested in airplanes, watch that show with them. Um, uh, let, me let me rethink that. No, you should do it. You should do it. Watch that show with them because it's so fascinating and interesting and the, the people and um, apparently my pedo, uh, apparently we're, we're iced over somehow. No airspeed. Um, it's, it's fascinating, but that it's based in this region um, and many of the airports that we've landed at today are featured in that show. It's really, really cool. Uh, so wait, do you refuel at these places? I haven't refueled at all. I have no idea what the fuel situation looks like. Uh, fuel quantity, we've got plenty. So we're fine. Yeah. We have plenty. Self-sealing stem bolts. Uh, sled? We can definitely deliver some self-sealing stem bolts uh, to WAXP. Where is WAXP? I don't see WAXP. If you see WAXP, let me know, because it should be coming, it should be like right over here somewhere. This is a pretty lake as well. Okay, coming to the left, because it looks like it's off our left. Wax, wax. Is it inland? How far inland is it? No, it's like right on the edge of the lake. Oh, there's wax. Okay, so we have to come in from over the village, or do we come in from the other side? Uh, we're gonna come in over the village and that way if we overrun we don't hit the village. That's gonna make the approach a lot trickier 
Uh, we are also delivering fresh shipment of snowshoes and coats. Okay. Cool. We flew through a cloud, so we're definitely going to have more icing. Okay. The approach begins. This is going to be a tricky approach. Keep trim. Uh, this is not live weather. No, live weather is is uh, pretty sketchy. God, this is just so cool looking. This is my favorite spot. Until Pilot Edge um, <laughs> works, this is where I'm going to be flying. I'm just going to live in Papua. We're going to be going to WAXP all the time. Okay, all the villagers know we're on our way. So everyone's, everyone's lining the airport waiting for our arrival. <laughs> I know. I know, Disco Sweet, it's sweat. Sorry, I keep saying Disco Sweet. Disco Sweat, yeah, it's gonna be really, really tough to to go back. I have gone back once and it was like, ooh, my God. Uh, Pilot Edge is a online air traffic control network. Uh, it's live people basically working as um, air traffic control. Uh, they have not gotten Pilot Edge working yet, but next week, supposedly, the issue that was causing it to not work is going to be patched, maybe? So, hopefully. Um, Alex, thank you very much for following. Welcome. Welcome, Pull welcome. Up. Pull up. Yeah. Uh, Max Archer, thank you very much for following. Sixty nine knots, and I still feel like that's too fast. Yeah, it's just not, it's not slowing down. That's a cool approach, though. That's a really cool approach. Yeah, I guess the danger here is if you overrun, you go into trees. Yeah, that's that's a tricky one. I'm gonna I want to take off from that. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, what did we drop off here? Uh, that was a bonanza. Yeah, that was a that was a bonanza. Well, I just, it, it popped out because it got too close. Missionary bush pilot. No, I have not seen that. Okay, let's do... Da, da, da. Uh, Wanji. Oh, look at all... Oh, oh my god, look at all of that. We're heading west. Wanji. Let's go, Wanji. So many, man, and they're just like all back to back, and they're all tricky. They all have cool um, approaches. I love it. 
He flies them. Oh, you know what? Does he have? Um, does he fly a uh, PC six? A porter, Pilatus porter. All right. Imagine you're in this little village, and you have a freaking caravan just ripping over your house. <laughs> what what do we deliver to these people? I can't remember. This is so sketch. Oh, it's a Kodiak. Okay. I think I have, though. I may actually even follow him on Instagram. I'm not sure. Yeah, and the Cool Camaro, exactly. They're close together, so you can just go airport hopping. Um, it's a little... I like the bush flying, um, like, out in Nevada and Idaho and that kind of thing. But this, this is, like, you can actually pretend that you're... Uh, you know, doing missions. You know, you can like, okay, we're what are we dropping off at the next place? Cool, okay. And then, you know, do a little role play on that versus like just being in a cub going, hey, let's land on that hill. As the caravan iconic, I feel like I watched some other streamer raving about it. I don't I wouldn't say it's iconic. It's just a workhorse. They're very cool. Um I think they're awesome. We don't get a lot of them in Southern California, uh, John Wayne, but they're very cool. I think I think they're cool. Yeah, well, there's stuff that you can like, that you can make up. You know, I mean, not like not like that. That's a road, but something similar where, um, you know, you can just land. But the the fact that there are so many actually official uh, airstrips is really cool. Uh, I'd love to be able to do bush flying stuff, but no clue how I'd be able to get in, get into it as a SoCal pilot. Uh, Max, where are you located? Where are you based out of? Because I, um, okay. Have you been to Fallbrook? Have you been to Fallbrook yet? And welcome, Max, fellow fellow SoCal pilot. I love it. Um, still just working on my PPL. Okay, cool. So if you can, get your instructor to take you to Fallbrook. It is 2,100 foot, crazy runway. I love it. It's the it's the trickiest runway in, in SoCal. Um, an actual runway, not airport, but runway is super tricky. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Max. Um, if you are a Discord um, person, here's the Discord. We have a lot, lot of SoCal pilots in there. I have not landed at Santa Monica, but I have been there. Um, there's not really any reason for me to go there. Um, I don't know. There, it's it's a cool airport, but there's just nothing there, and like the land, like I don't need the landing fee, and you know, like or the technically the takeoff fee. Um, before it shuts down, I will I will land there for sure. But yeah, it's it's um, I've yeah I don't know I don't know what it is about it. It doesn't it doesn't call to me. I would rather go to Kern Valley or. Um, I mean, there's, there's just other airports that I would rather go to, and it's, well, it's not a cross country, so that's one deterrent for right now. But look at how freaking amazing this looks. Uh, the city of Santa Monica is getting it shut down, or is trying to get it shut down. There's still a chance that it will not get shut down, but it's very unlikely at this point. So they're they're shortening it. Um, yeah, and it's a, it's basically, a, I think, down to eight years now that it's going away. Yeah. 
Um, you're heading to SoCal next month or so, and I'm planning for a stop there. Sweet. Yeah, it's a pretty it's it's pretty simple. I mean, I have I I know a handful of people that fly out of there, and um, you know, it's a great it's a great airport, but. Yeah, there's just no there's no real reason for me to go there right now. I mean, I, I will get to a point where it will probably be like, hey, we gotta we gotta land there before it goes away. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just an airport. There's a restaurant across the street. Um, it's pretty decent for for plane watching, but there there are just a lot more airports in uh, SoCal that I prefer. This, this this is freaking awesome, dude. Could you imagine uh, some flight sim economy stuff out here? And just, like, having an FBO and letting it rip. Just owning Papua. Got some, some toothpaste and some, what is it, like, donut tourists and stuff. First time I ever flew a plane was out of Santa Monica as a kid. That's cool. Yeah, it's a cool airport, historical. I mean, I've flown over it a million times, but... Um, the flight you documented on Facebook, how much would that cost you typically? Um, which which one, Sled? Um, on Facebook? What did I, what did I document on Facebook? Okay, there's 70. 500. 500. Trim, to trim, 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 trim. Full flaps. Yeah, this this town, like everyone just comes out, like there's an airplane coming. Trim, 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 trim. On YouTube. Um, so which, the. Um, like the the one that I just showed, the fly-in one. Um, so the plane that I rent, that plane is 140 bucks per hour. Uh, that. So you know it's like. You know, 200, 250 bucks for, for a couple hours. Yeah, this thing does not like to slow down. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Good thing you got to split it, though. That that was... I mean, I'm assuming. It was cool that you went with a friend, too. That, that makes it uh, even better. Okay, what are we dropping off here? I like these one way in, one way out stuff. Just like stop at the end of the runway, turn around, take off. Whoa, okay, that's ouch. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it just adds up. That's the thing is it adds up. You know, when you have <laughs> hairspray and lollipops and espresso machines, that's pretty awesome. Well, yeah, and that's the thing, Sled, is it's... It's the experience, you know, and um, it does add up, and especially when you have minimum flight time requirements and stuff where, um, you know, it's uh, necessary to get to your next level. You know, when you have, like, 40 hours of instrument time and it starts to add up a lot, you know, you're like, holy crap, I have to pay how much? Um, but... Max Archer, thank you again for uh, following on Discord. Welcome. Uh, yeah, so it does add up, but yeah, like the experience itself, yeah, for sure, it's it's freaking amazing. Oh, oh. It is absolutely oh, oh. freaking amazing. Who do we got? That is steam. Holy crap, it's not glass. Um, Zangi10, thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. We're gonna go northwest. 
The plane is pretty rough looking. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um, I am a private pilot working on a uh, instrument rating. Is that actually somebody or is that AI? That doesn't look like the CSL for the uh, Bonanza. Is that you? <laughs> oh, there goes Google Camaro. Oh, look out, look out, negative G. Get your gear up, boy. Get that gear up, man, what are you doing? Or is that not a bonanza, and dead. <laughs> uh, and dead. Yeah, Zangi US, yeah, I'm uh, based out of John Wayne, John Wayne Airport. Uh, we have a well-kept 530DA40 for 135. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, that would be that would be nice. Uh, flying a 2A, but it's showing as a Bonanza. That is weird. Yeah, it's like the default Bonanza. That is that is a strange one. Very curious. All right, now we're gonna get some altitude. It looks like we're gonna be hitting some potential icing situations. Heading up into the mountains. Trim, 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 trim. Yeah, we might have to climb, climb up here. Yeah, DA forty with a five thirty. I will, I will take that for sure. Pompey, what's up, dude? Hawks. Dude, Hawks, thank you so much for the um, Burbank scenery. It looks amazing, dude. It looks absolutely amazing. I will be posting that on the YouTubes. So cheers, man. This thing looks so ridiculous with that big stupid nose gear. Flooded a plane with my. Oh, fought my plane with the GoPro once. Oh crap! We're getting into. Oh, it's we're we're already on it. Uh, what was the name of this one again? Uh, Wamb, Wamb. Uh, yeah, Pompeii. I Julia does hop on. She hasn't been on in a while. She's in the middle of um, becoming a personal trainer, so she's studying a lot right now. Um, but yeah, she she does hop on. We've gotten some some new clips of her. <laughs> yeah, the headset adapter cables work amazing. Right Yo, down. all traffic in the area, please advise. Thank you very much, Julia. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. And the approach end is 
So we're going to... Uh, the approach is going to start from down that road. <laughs> Come on, chatbot. Coltrane, happy little Friday. Alright, uh, the left side seems to be a little bit less, um, less steep. We'll try that. God, I love, I love the volumetric clouds. Dude, they look so good. So does that help? Does pulling the prop back help? I mean, we're essentially feathering it so there's less drag, but I wonder if it if it thinks it's better. I guarantee you, Max, that we're gonna get a, a beautiful PC6 for this. Um, yeah, no, I know not for real, but I just mean like as far as the sim goes, because it's this plane does not. Sky it's not. It's not four. good. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's no. I'm just trying something different because it's been it's been full forward. And just the fact that it wouldn't work in the real plane leads me to believe that it might actually work in this. And look at that, 85. So that is a little bit better. What happens if we just pull it all? The, what if if we just feather it? Let's just go idle. <laughs> uh, Burbank to Santa Barbara. Oh yeah, awesome. Thanks, Hawks. Yeah, it's that it actually is kind of working. I don't know. Just feather it. Is it all the way back? Yeah. Min. Okay, there's seventy. What happens if I just go full forward? coming in way too high, way too hot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be controversial. You guys might not like this, but it's gonna happen. That's a tricky one. This is tough, man. This is tough in this thing. Uh, OG34? Is that here? Um, yeah, I had it. I already had it full forward, yeah. Yeah, that one's, that one's tough just doesn't it doesn't slow down so I, I it was too high so the let's I think the key whoa okay blind little crest there let's not uh, <laughs> yikes the key is altitude that is the key if we're too high there's no way it's gonna work it will not work um, oh yeah, was that the, uh, yeah, Coltrane, we, we did that one, the, the Orbix one. Well, maybe not, no, we did OG20. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is super remote. Okay, so the next, the next one, we're just going to keep it as low as possible. Uh, at WAVV. We're going to WAVV. Yeah, these are just all so close, and each one of them is tricky and 
really fun. So we just have to be low. Even if we have to go around or circle or do whatever, we have to be coming in low. Otherwise, it's just going to accelerate too much. Oh, that looks awesome. Kind of so freaking cool. That's kind of what I'm thinking, Max. Yeah, is just slow it down um, and not, because any nose down attitude adds too much speed. And this thing um, needs to land apparently at like 55 knots. So any, any amount of altitude is gonna translate into airspeed, which we need as little of as possible. So we just got a trench run into the next spot. The problem is identifying the airport and then getting down. So we might have to like circle and come come in a little bit. Which isn't which isn't too bad. Yeah, you just you have to drag it in. And if you have any nose down attitude, you're totally totally hosed. Yeah, the king, do the king air. It's so impossible. This, however, we might, we might be walking into something really fun. Uh, who is Jenks that is flying right now? Oh, like name name wise, Jenks is watching. Uh, is that is it going to be up there? Oh, this is going to be so fun. Dude, these are all so close together. Holy crap! Holy crap. How do you do that one? Oh, yes, this is great. That is so great. That's the freaking rare strip. Dude, how, how great is this? They had to have done something with, with this area. This is too cool to just be random autogen stuff. <laughs> this is a runway for ants. You just have to drag it in through this valley. Come in through this valley. Could you imagine if there was like a ceiling too and some heart and some strong winds? Good lord. Got some like mountain wave coming off some of these updrafts and downdrafts. Like, good lord. Our chandelles. Oh, my God, look at that. Nose up trim where it slows it down. 
Uh, Disco, this is in Papua. Still not slowing down. I mean, I'm full idle here. You gotta slip in. Is that, is that gonna slow it down? There's 68. So now we're descending in a full slip and it's speeding up. <laughs> it's way too fast. too fast 70 it's just not slowing down wow yeah I I agree Hawks I mean this is just flying around and hey let's go check out this airport I mean that could that is so cool that if that was like if I had a, a flights and economy FBO there I'd be super stoked <laughs> This is some random ass crazy jungle airport in the middle of a river valley. Like, just get out of here with how cool this is. So I need to I need to be even lower than that. Okay, I'm gonna take another bite out of the cherry on this one. Well, we don't wanna Oh, you're coming in way too hot. You're coming in way too hot, man. That's not working. That's not happening. <laughs> I just love, I love how dense it is. Load, load the wings up in this turn. That should also slow us down a little bit. It's like 65. I'll take 65 coming in. There we go. So there's 60. I mean, we're basically at airport elevation here. Oh my god, this is so sketchy. Why are you speeding up, dude? Okay, there's 65. 64. I still feel like this is way too fast. How do you get this thing slowed down? Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Dead. Well, maybe not dead, but definitely not surviving this. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So legit. Dude, how the hell do you get that thing slowed down? Come on, climb out, buddy. Climb out, nose down, speed up. Get going, get going. Jeez. Box Canyon, now we're really screwed. This is not good. Now it gets slow. And now we're into now we're flying into a box canyon at 36 knots. And we're done. 
<laughs> this is nightmare material. I agree. Just, oh, it won't. I can't get it to slow down enough. Wav. We're going to Wav. Okay, Wavva, and let's do something. We'll get it in a different plane to finish it out. I I think that there's just not enough drag to get those slowed down enough to really be able to get it in there. Even with like the nose up, like as soon as you start descending the speed, the airspeed starts going up. And when you're at 70 and the thing stops flying at, um, what was it, Wabva? Um, you know, it stops flying at 50 knots, you're like just screwed. Mm, okay, so what is the, I mean, we don't want to get, we don't want it to be too easy, but that caravan is kind of the only plane of that size. TBM is stupid. Um, yeah, none of these are really like rugged, except for the 172 can maybe get in there. 152 would be fun. Uh, and then the Cub obviously would be a piece of cake. Uh, 152 might be kind of fun. Little aerobat action. Let's get that dude going. Yeah, that'll be kind of fun. <laughs> this is this is this is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. God, man, these screenshots just look so good. It's crazy. It is crazy. The scotch always helps, though. God, this is so much fun. I love it. And it's working, the stream, like, knock on wood. Everything's running smooth. Everything's running good. Oh, my God. What the frick? Is this live weather, or is this, like, my storm preset? Yeah, this is a storm preset. What's live? <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Uh, wind. We'll get a little gust. A little gust factor. We'll just change, change these around. Just something random. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, VMC. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's crazy. That approach is really fun. So this departure will be also pretty cool. Uh, where are we going? Wow. So we're just going due west to Wakf. They did a really good job on this 152. Okay. Is that in knots? Yeah, okay. All right, and we're going, we're heading west. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is in Papua. Well, yeah, that's true insanely, insanely dense with amazing runways like that. Super hazardous area, this is friggin' great. Yeah, look, dude, look at the, 
like the little path and the the huts up here God, like what detailed data do they have for friggin Papua uh, the code what was it is wap wabji <laughs> wapja whoa we got some we got some windy conditions here Where's the next? Next one's coming up. All right, take a right at the river. There's 90 knots. This is gonna <laughs> wabva. This will be much better. Oh, we're getting knocked around by this wind a little bit. This adds some excitement to it. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, boy. It's getting a little choppy. I feel like it's getting a little choppy. Okay, we're still doing eighty. Knocked around. Nice. That. <laughs> That shot was like perfect, perfect angle and perfect timing for that. That was sweet looking. <laughs> Proper soft field technique. Come on, get up the hill, buddy. Get up the hill. Go. Go, 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 go. Uh, and then we're at Wacht. And Wacht is going to be our final stop for tonight. What do you think about that? We're going to pack up the Aerobat at Wacht. Oh, big Cessna, little Cessna. Look at this departure. How freaking rad is that? Okay, what, in which direction are we going? We're going south. So we're already headed south. We're going to round this bend right here, and that should be walked. That sounds good to me. Okay, we'll get in our soft field, get our notch of flaps in there. Power up. Yeah, I re there's a there's a handful there's a handful of these that I recognize from the show. I'm glad that this thing will will uh, tail strike itself like instantly. Dude, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get chopped up by this caravan. <laughs> um. It is, uh, it's called The Worst Place to Be a Pilot. It's on YouTube for free, and it's fantastic. It's a fantastic watch. Uh, this weather, this, this is not good. 
we're gonna do like an all in any. I'm fine with a stiff wind, but I don't want to get knocked around. This is like impossible. <laughs> Heading out over to Wacht. We're going to land at Wacht. Hopefully our, we don't need to go up any higher. Alright, that's still... That's still like too crazy. This is the gust, gust factor. Every 60 seconds, maybe. 0% gust factor. Oh, evidence, please, please. I have some doubts about many things. <laughs> Still super fun, but many, many doubts on many things. This poor little 152 is getting just crushed. That's cool looking. Oh, do we have a little, oh, we've got a little opening here. This is good. Iowa, have a great one, man, thank you. Walked, okay, so it's on the other side. That might be walked right somewhere over there. This is pretty. So is it that little grouping or is it the one above it? <laughs> Steam screenshot, you know it man. I'm trying to get some uh, get some sweet shots. Is that it right there? Yeah, that is it. That is it. Okay, so that is the right approach angle to come from for sure. Don't want to come in from the other from the other side. Yeah, that caravan would not have fun with that. Look at how, look at that friggin' crazy road. Jesus. It is just a field. And we're gonna dump the flaps and short approach this little bitch right in there. No problem. Oh crap, that view's not gonna help. Plunk this thing down nice. We're coming in, folks. We don't have uh, we don't have much stuff because we're just a little 152, but we're gonna get it down nice, nice and smooth. What, what a freaking amazing airport, or whatever you want to call this. 
Man, this is so awesome. Oh, coming in. You picked the wrong side. <laughs> This one, this 152 is really fun. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so we're staying. Uh, we're staying the night at uh, Walked. We're staying the night at Walked, and maybe just continuing. <laughs> just seriously, just. Just do a gigantic lap around this entire country. I don't, I don't even care. I bet it looks cool out there. Oh man, it did work. Crew car, FBO. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is the town. <laughs> There's like a crew cart. I mean, this is it. It's like here it is. We'll tie down for the night here. Probably, probably won't have much gas, but let's get this thing shut down here. So we're gonna get the lights coming off, strobe, nav, uh, avionics switch on a 152. Beacon is coming off. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is the avionics? Is it right in front of me, or is there not an avionics switch? There might not be an avionics switch. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. <laughs> Got a crew, crew donkey. Crew donkey. Well, I am not sure about the time tomorrow, but what I will, um, what I will say is that if you would like to join next time and you're new here, this is a Discord. Uh, let's see, avionics. Oh, and like nothing works on this. Oh, here we go. Look at that, no problem. <laughs> Everything is off, there it is. Check the fuel. And the mixture is coming off. Whoa, where's that guy going? Oh my god. We're talking about the ATC selection process in the Discord right now. Oh, sweet. All right. I want to jump in there. All right, what's going to happen here? This looks like Austria or something. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Hit the reversers. You can do it, man. Oh boy. Whoa, bounce. Bounce, don't take my wing off. Oh, the reversers sound so good. I love it. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, another one. This one looks faster. This could be sketch. Big bounce, big side load. Oh, he's coming in hot. He's coming in way too hot. Oh, he's gonna rip the tires right off the rim and go around. <laughs> uh, good, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Jenks. Thanks, man. Thank you for everybody that followed today. All the new Discord members, I really appreciate it. Evidence, please. Uh, Will14. Thank you guys. 
um, all very much. Discord has grown significantly in the last week or so, so I appreciate it. Uh, keep that um, community going. Oh, we're, that's not good out there. That's not good. Yep, we're going to have to go fish that guy out of the river. <laughs> um, thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you next time, uh, hopefully sometime this weekend. And uh, have a absolutely fantastic night. See ya! Sorry.